Pins, it's Gainer again, and I'm back. We're here to decorate the 14 cards that I did with the one sheet wonder. So, from yesterday. So, what I've done, I've I placed my cards on. Um, I'm going to try and use a doily, and because this is like a little pearlescent. Oh, excuse me, <laughs> phone's ringing. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Guarantee you just, no, I think it's going to go again now, any minute, because my husband's been trying to get it hold of me. Bless him, and it was somebody else. So I'm just laying out the cards at the moment. Uh, there you go. I knew it was going to go. Won't be a minute. There you go. Told you it was hubby. <laughs> right. Fingers crossed I won't be disturbed again for the next half an hour or so. So this was, oh, let me see my, get my picture up. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm so disorganised today, guys. It's unreal. There it is. Right, so this here is card number 12. Oh, I should work my way backwards, really, shouldn't I? This is card 14. Because I've got them in... St How the hell did I stack that wrong? <laughs> so this is card 14. That was card 13. Yay! Oh, I better put my doily back. So what I've done also, I've cut out some... Because there's like a shimmer to this paper. Not this one, in fact. Wait there, let me grab it. I've got a designer series paper. And not all of it, but some of it. See the shimmer on there? Well, it reminded me of silver. And there's some on there, and there's some on this one. But not on the one I'm using. It's marvellous, isn't it? But because there's like a shimmer on there, I'm using some silver items as well that I've die cut out. So, none of it. Because some of these pieces are quite small. And I don't think just a thank you on there would suffice. So we're going to try it now. We're going to glue these into place. Then we'll decide where our pieces go. I'm thinking here and here. Once I glued them into the corners. And then a beautiful thank you right through the centre. Because these are all going to be thank you cards for everyone who took part in the challenge. And I will get them straight, don't worry. And on the edge, a nice thank you across there. And maybe uh, we've got some die cuts. We've got the word sweet. Um, I've got some from the Paisley's and Posley's design. Perhaps we could add a few swirls here and there and everywhere. But I've got lots of cutouts. I've got flowers. I've got butterflies. Oh, that is stunning. I've got our daisies. They're all plainly punched out. There's no, nothing been stamped on them yet. I've got this flower and leaf and I've added dimensionals. These can just get bobbed on our card in places. So please bear with me. I won't always use these. I could now... I don't think I want that in the centre there. But I've just placed them there just to be on the safe side. So I'm going to get some glue out. Let's get that first card made at least. <laughs> Please bear with me. I've had so many people calling in today. My husband's fishing. So I expected a really nice day crafting. And instead I've been having phone calls upon phone calls visitors which I don't mind I love my visitors my daughter's called in she's uh she came for lunch bless her soul without me knowing she turns up quite unexpected now and then bless her but I don't mind she cooks for me too she's marvelous so I'm making sure the edges of my ooh, there we go my doily here, so these bits where they've been cut can be hidden under these beautiful. So I'm going to line that up on there and make sure we've got the same gap top and bottom. So I'm going to add some more glue. See, card 14. Because I did show you how to cut the card yesterday and layer them up as well and give measurements so if you bob over to the blog they will be there as well is that lined up now i need to take that over to that line now 
So that one is lined up. Now you can see where I've put the doily. And this card marries... Have I done it upside down? I think I have, you know. Oh gosh, quick, get off. No, I haven't. It's okay. No, I think it marries up somewhere. Oh well, no one will ever know. They just think it's two pieces of card. But I am trying to keep the flower pattern going. Because of the way we cut our card. So again, this one. I'm going to pop this on that line there. Oh, that's a little bit closer than what I thought it was going to be. Should I come up one? I'm certainly not going to get my thank you in the centre of there. That beautiful, absolutely stunning. So I can put my thank you there or there and then add a gorgeous piece of this beautiful. I'm going to use my Blackberry Bliss because oh, it does coordinate with this designer series paper. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, rich colour. So I'm going to have this beautiful thank you. Oops. Thank you for everything and more, it says. And I do realise this is a really, really nice dark colour. So I'm going to try and get this as straight as I can on my card. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Oh, I love it. And very straight, nice pattern. So there goes that horrible sound for my cloth because I do want to keep these clean as we're going along in case I don't use it again and then I can just pop it away later. So there's my thank you for that one. I have got a few projects on the go here. That is beautiful. And we could actually, not always, but we can get our pearls out. I have got a little pack of these coloured pills that come with this set as well. Whoops. Sorry my arm is in the way. But I've got some beautiful pearls here. And these were the ones dished out on the day on the table. So, oh my gosh, let's have a look. And we can look at that the beautiful little design up there as well. Oh my word, these are going to come together so quickly. I'm just going to grab... I'm going to have one there and one there on my doilies. Just beautiful. Maybe a rhinestone. I don't want all the same. I could put that in the centre of my flower there, actually. Take off the backings. I can only record for 47 minutes as well, so I've got to try. There it is, beautiful, right in the centre. And I'm going to pop that just there on my card. Oh my word, that is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, so card 14 is done. Uh, no. <laughs> this is card 13. And we're going to decide where we have these as well. This pattern does coincide. Look, it carries on. And there is that bit there. So we can space these out evenly. Whoops. On our card. Perhaps I should get a ruler and a nice line going so I can keep them all in the same area. So if I pop them along, keep them up the top, and now I can get my line there and there, and then I can glue these into place. Nice, evenly and spread equally. Oh, isn't that pretty? Keeping a gap either side. Keeping our gaps level as well 
that looks pretty cool to me so remove one card 13 piece number one because my pattern runs that way so keep our line and if I want a quarter of an inch in a beauty box so I'm going to do this one next leaving a quarter of an inch in you always put your center one in last then you know it's lined up perfectly so I'm keeping my line and I'm coming in a quarter of an inch sorry if you can see my head and now we just need to line this one up perfectly so and these are one and a quarter by one and a quarter so if I go one and an eighth either side that's not going to work so if that is three quarters that is three quarters I think that's going to be center Oh, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. They all bought up to my card. And my ruler's come in handy. Isn't that beautiful? So where to add the doily now? So I could add my sentiment on here. Attach my doily at the back. And have this at the bottom. Yes, I think I will. Oh my gosh. And this one is the thank you from one of the other sets, which is, oh God, I've got piles of cards everywhere. It is from Heartfelt Blooms. So let's get that gorgeous thank you. Oh, that is gorgeous. Absolutely. What a beautiful, beautiful I love the way the inks, uh, they, they're just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And they, they stamp it out beautifully. I'm loving this. So I've got some bigger gems as well for smaller sentiments. So that's nice and straight. Oh, don't go smudging, Gainer. <laughs> I am going to attach my doily. Well, I want to make sure, though, that my thank you is about there. So it's in the centre. So I'm going to attach this about halfway up. Let me just check my line again. So that's about right. So I know I can come down to that first lip there for my doily to get stuck down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this over, knowing that that is where my doily can go, grab my dimensionals and stick the tree on. Pop the backings off. So each one of these cards is basically we've got the layout for the what I'm going to do I'm going to just balance oh that is just beautiful absolutely gorgeous now we've got some love hearts here so we could place these love hearts one here one here and one down there or even yeah, one down there. So I'm adding the love hearts to this one. But don't they make gorgeous little... And these are out the share. I sure do love you stamp set and dies. The one with the love hearts. Oh. How pretty is that? We can add ribbon if we can get a chance to. Um... I've got these beautiful gems that I've added, that are all from Stampin' Up, they're just little ones that were left over. So I'm going to bob one above each one of these cards, because I have three left in this colour. So 
Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. Love, 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 love. So there's card number 13. Right, let's move on to card 12. And again, this pattern, it all runs in order. So this could go here. Oops, I think I better make sure that my cards are open in the right way first. <laughs> Let me just check. Oh yes, because we could have made some boob boobs then straight away from the start. But yes, that is absolutely stunning. I'm loving that. So we have card piece number three. Number two. See our pattern is running up? And number four. We could keep them all closed together like that. With this beautiful doily. Or we could space them just slightly. Add our doily at the bottom. And this beautiful, beautiful, big, huge thank you that says, you are too kind. Thank you. And I need to straighten that up on my block. Otherwise, when I stamp, it's going to be off. So sorry about the head. Don't want to uh, stamp a wonky message. That is perfect. That is what we're doing. Oh my gosh, I love it. So because this is four inches wide, it will fit right across my card. Perfectly. Blub, 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 blub. So I'm just having an eighth of an inch gap all the way down with this last piece I'm going to get my doily under here as well and that is perfect, absolutely perfect I think that's lovely, just gorgeous. And now we can stamp this gorgeous sentiment. Oh my word! I have seen anyone get excited about a stamp pad. Oh, me. That is perfect. And then this is just going right down here. Just checking. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my word, I love it. Love, love, love. And it cleans off these stamps beautifully. I know my cloth is going to be stinking. But as long as my stamps are clean. Oh, yes. Uh, I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got nine, eight or nine different thank yous. I've also got this shabby chic look if I wanted to add that to my card. But I'm thinking, what can I add to this beautiful card? A gorgeous love heart. Oh, that is so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Loving it. Um, I've got these lovely little labels which I uh which I could pop on here or in the center here. I don't know. I've got this pretty little thing here, absolutely stunning. That could go down there. Yeah, I think that's perfect. And that just slid into place then as I pop that down there. So I'm going to slide this up until it hits the dimensionals. 
I'm just going to pop that there and I'm going to grab, I've got these large stones as well, stones, uh, rhinestones, so I've got another little, oh excuse me, there goes the door, oh, sorry about that, god it's 20 minutes in and I haven't even um, begun to finish filming yet, so I'm going to pop one of these here, and I've got two slightly smaller ones, they're going right next door. And I need to straighten that middle one up a little bit. So that's our card number 12. Oh, I've got to start, put my finger, I've got 27 minutes to make the rest of the cards. So please bear with me. I've got so much to do. Right, this is card number 11. And I'm going to pop that right there with the doily on the back. So I'm going to have to speed up a little bit. All these phone calls, everybody knocking my door. <laughs> Very popular today. No, come on, a bit more glue down that bottom would help, Lena. So stop rushing. Lay this down until you get it roughly in the centre. But these doilies come with this set and they're just absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to line that up there, on there, and I'm going to give myself two squares down on either side. There we go, that's perfect, absolutely perfect. And I don't need to attach my doily because it's... Uh, pin down closely and I'm going to see if I can get this thank you in here uh, I might not be able to but you never know <gasps> perfect oh my gosh I outdo myself sometimes I love it absolutely love it so there's that and it's all cleaned off oh my gosh oh my gosh I'm going to try my best not to rub this because give it a little blow. I'm going to attach this to this scalloped square in there. I'm going to turn that over and I'm just going to pat it down. I don't want to smear it in any way, shape or form. <gasps> Isn't that just gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous gorgeous that can go up there just beautiful grab some dimensionals where have they gone there they are right in front of me whoops gosh blimey i'm sorry for rushing Some of these cards might not need any silver elements on, but in my opinion, I think a little bit of bling can go a long way. That is just beautiful. Thank you. And what can I add? Oh, look at these beautiful flowers. And I'm just going to pop that right there. Just to break up the white. There we go. Oh my gosh, where's my little gems? Just gonna get these out of the packet quick enough. There we go. Yay. Oh, I also have. No, nope, I'm not gonna use them. I'm just gonna grab myself. Gone all over the shop, these have. Some are in the wrong places, but I'm going to use the grapefruit, grapefruit Grove. Me trying to put things back. Stop it now, Gail. I'm going to use one of these, which is Rich Razzleberry. And I'm going to use a mint macaron. And I'm just going to pop that down there. Oh my word. Right, on to the next. <laughs> this one is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. 
I might not even bother with the doily with this one because I want that pin tight to the top. Just beautiful, making sure my card opens the right way. I could do it like this as well. It's too long for my card, so it's going that way. So grab some glue. This is card number 10, and card number 9 is pretty similar. I wonder if I add my doily up the top. And then pull this card down a wee little bit. Making sure it stays along that edge. You don't have to have it right at the top, do you? We still incorporate the doily then. And then we've got this beautiful, it says a tiny, oh, where is it? What, one tiny word with one big meaning and it says thanks. And I'm going to run this. Making sure I'm going to run this down this way. Oh, I love it. And I'm not going to wipe the ink off this one because I'm going to do exactly the same as my card number nine, but it'll be running the other way. That is gorgeous. And I'm going to grab one of these rich razzleberry large stones. I'm just going to pop it up there in the centre. And I'm going to grab a small, this side, and another one for this side, right near the dotted line, OMG, I am loving this, we have this gorgeous butterfly, this is from um, You Move Me stamp set, like I say, I just, a bit, where's it gone, is it stuck to me, <laughs> where can I put this gorgeous butterfly? I'm going to pop him right there. So beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. That was card number uh, 10. This is card number 9. Exactly the same thing. We are going to move this up to there. And have my... Oh, I'm going to pop this doily in there this time. And my sentiment at the bottom. Yay! Come on. We'll get there. We'll get all 14 cards done. Fingers crossed. You know me. I'll try my bestest. So, somewhere in the centre. Because I did want to use my doilies with, the, with this set. That's going right up to the tip on that side. So I know it's going to be level. Right across there. Oh my word. And then coming back with that beautiful one big meaning thanks. And this is going right along the bottom this time. Oh, I love it. Now I can wipe it off because I might not use it again. And I want to keep all my stamps clean. Just beautiful. Look how good it cleans them off. I love my absorber cloth. So again, with this one, oh, I'm covered in there. Uh, I'm going to add this beautiful love heart on this one. You might say it doesn't need it, but I think it needs a little bit of something. So I'm going to just point this off the edge of this card here, right down to the there. Beautiful. And again, I'm going to add my large rhinestone for there. And let's take this out of the packet. I'm going to grab... Uh, I'm going to put one right on my love heart there. And I'm going to have the other one there. <gasps> 
lovely absolutely lovely now these cards are really coming along and i think it's brilliant absolutely brilliant so now this is card number eight uh i can't turn it on its side because of my flowers the way it's running so i'm gonna either have this here Now I'm going to add my doily down here. So let's get some glue on first. And my doily is going down the bottom here. And this is going here. Nice even border all the way around. It's just gorgeous. And I'm going to grab my thank you again. This one. I better turn it the right way, otherwise, I'll post it upside down. Oh my. Oh my word. How beautiful is this? I love that colour. I am so happy the Fetch Rich Rosalberry back. It's Blackberry Bliss. It's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm getting covered in it though. So my cloth is not absorbing too well. So what we're going to have for this one? I'm going to add these nice swirls in this pattern. What do you reckon? I'm going to add a bit of glue onto the back of this. Who says L stamping up stuff doesn't go together? I think it does. In fact, I think it goes, everything goes together so well. I can see a blob of glue there. So I'm just adding this next to this word here. I'm going to press down. And I'm going to think of somewhere I can add my... Oh, I don't think I get dimensionals on the back of there. Maybe here, but nowhere else. And I'm going to add that pattern down there. And I'm going to grab some rhinestones for this one. I'm going to have one in the centre there. And sticky fingers, one in there. Some gorgeous shapes with, if you look at these stamp sets, they're just beautiful. And I'm going to have one on that flower there. Just perfect. So now we're moving on to card number seven. Oh, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. So again, I can't have my pattern anywhere up apart from there. And we're going to add, I don't know where we're going to add this doily today. Try and keep an even gap. Perfect. Yay. And... Oh, now what we're going to use now? Hmm. I was going to stick that on there and have it off center. Oh, I think that's. I'm going to use that same one again because I know it fits. But I've only got two of these little squares. It's upside down.
Oh, I love it. Look how clean and crisp that is. Absolutely gorgeous. And look how quick it cleans. So, glue again. I'm sorry if I feel like I'm rushing, but I do, like I say, I want to get all 14 cards done while you're here with me. Sitting in my kitchen. Because I don't want to disappoint anyone. So, perfect way for getting them off, that is. So, I'm going to have this here. I'm going to keep my doily there and my sentiment here, I think. Which is just gorgeous. <laughs> Got this gorgeous little umbrella on here. Yay, I think that's just so cute. I bet my father-in-law thinks I'm so ignorant. I didn't invite him in. I don't like people coming here unless it's uh, my daughter when hubby's not home. I don't know what it is. Just, ooh, I don't know. So, which way? This way or this way? I think this way. Look at that beautiful detail we've got on there. And we're going to grab some beautiful rhinestones. And I'm just going to put one at the top of each bump. Perfect. Isn't that so cute? Right, let's move on. We're out on card number six. Oh my gosh, already. This is quite a large one, this one. So I'm going to need a sentiment for this one. And I'm going to... I might... Oh, I don't know where I'm going to stick this one because this is a large card. So... And again, it's going in the centre. I'm going to... You won't see much of my doily this time, but... You will see a little bit. I've just been watching them. Or oh, was it Judge Rinder? I don't know if you get him over there in the States. He's fabulous. But he's been talking about vicious crimes. And, gen and men out there just going out acid in their ex-girlfriend's faces because they don't want to be with them. Oh my word, how could somebody do something so horrendous? Oh, I've used that one. Oh, now I'm going to use this one, which is... Oh, I've got to be careful with this one. No, I knew it was going to have a smudge on it, so why did I do it? I'm just going to take off and turn that over. Fingers crossed. I do it this time. In fact, I've got a slightly longer one here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There we go. That's clean again. I'm going to add my glue. We've come prepared. I like to use the edges on longer sentiments like this. Just saves me using so many. Perfect. And this is going... Oh, does that look like carded to you? No, it's supposed to be straight. It is straight. <laughs> it's just the angle I had my card then. But this is going down the bottom. I'm going to have rhinestones either side. I'm going to have 
one on this beautiful flower here and then I'm going to add this gorgeous, gorgeous butterfly on top of there. Look at that. Just position that. Right, I know I'd better add it because of it's sticking out. I'm just going to pull it in a little bit there. Oh my word, look at that. It's just beautiful. My doily will still fit in an envelope. Just perfect. Let me check the time. Oh my god, I've got seven minutes to do five cards, so uh, come on, let's get going. <laughs> right, let's get a sentiment on here quickly. I've got this. I'm going to position this. I'm going to glue it on first. Fingers crossed I don't make a boo boo. If I'm recording right up until the end, it's because I don't want to let any of you down. And I've got this gorgeous, thank you, which is going top and top on the line. <gasps> love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, my word. The only thing it stains, so I'll use my bleach on that later and get that off. Just beautiful. So this is going here. And this is going down here this time. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I've got so many done. No, it's probably noticed I'm using a hell of a lot more glue than I would normally. So gap either side. Slide my doily in here. Press that down. Grab some dimensionals. the backings off. Add this here so you know it's perfectly lined up. Oh my gosh this is just gorgeous. That's too big. I'm gonna have to use that on a card. Get a couple of balloons here to celebrate. The nozzle on my glue is getting a bit thick and stodgy. Come on, get any, you can get that off later. So add some dots of glue. I'm expecting another phone call in 20 minutes. So I'm just going to add these balloons. I wish it had stuck more to flowers. But uh, I like balloons. No, I don't. I hate balloons. But I don't mind these type of balloons. I don't like real balloons. <gasps> they freak me out big time. So we're going to have one of these large ones. Down there in the corner. And then a couple of rhinestones as well. One here. And one here. So, that's card five. Oh my gosh. Come on, Gainer, you can do it. <laughs> We've got this one now. This is beautiful. I um, don't know if I'm going to use all of them, but I could spread these out on here. Nope. I'm going to spread them out on here. Yep. Glue, glue, glue. And this is card four, and this is the first one in the pattern. I'm going to turn this upside down so I can evenly space. I always do the, sec the, the first and the last and then do the middle one. So this is following on from my pattern. There. 
making sure I push that down just a wee little bit. So I've got the pattern either side and then the middle one. Let's have a look. That looks pretty good to me. Perfect. So I'm going to have my thank you across here. I think this piece, no, it does go in the centre. We're going to have that right the way along there with my doily underneath. So glue, glue, glue. What help if I'd actually stamped my image first. I'm now going to have to glue it down because I can't rest it against nothing. But when you're in a rushy situation like I am, oh my word. Look, I've got this beautiful one from Sassy Salutations saying thank you as well. Oh, please don't. <gasps> I had a boo-boo on the side, but it didn't do it. Yay! <laughs> thank you. There we go. I'm going to glue this now. All the rest have been on dimensionals. This one can go flat. Doily alert. Looks pretty good to me. This is going all the way along. Oh my, looks gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. 